And then, of course, you know, we're noble. Um, we want to be cool, and now we're worried about others. At first, maybe you're worried about your family. Then you're worried about your countrymen, environment, animals. So, yeah, I'm also worried about those things. But no, I basically, you are worried about yourself. You're afraid for yourself, really. That's the way it really goes back to. As you go forward and your consciousness begins to expand and you're becoming more awake and you're starting to notice that this sense of separation is not real. There is a sense, but you go deeper within yourself and you start as the mind becomes quiet a couple of different things happen. A is you begin in your the expansions of your consciousness, you begin to be able to observe the rise of fear. Fear is something that rises. It's a passing emotion. But so many people around the world are so much used to it and so much their behavior actions is based on this uh, behavior that they are totally identified with it and they just have no idea of um, this is what's going on. They have zero idea what's going on. So they're ruled by it. But then a start, you start waking up a couple of different things starts to happen. A is you start, if you're lucky and you are in a sort of a spiritual teachings or somehow you come across this information, you're able to watch. You're watching your mind and you're observing your emotions. And when the thought comes, because where is fear, really? When you're projecting fear into the future, I'm not talking about fear that someone's running towards mm -hmm towards you with a knife or uh, you find yourself in a dangerous place, that's your nervous system. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about what's haunting you is that a thought or an emotion comes and, and is passing through, whether you were watching uh, the news and they're talking about, yeah, we're projecting like by 2025, half of the population of planet is going to die. Just somebody just said something on the news. And all of a sudden you start getting anxiety and fear because somebody said something. It doesn't mean anything. Somebody just said something. And you're giving importance to this reporter or whatever uh, it is. And your nervous system gets triggered, your mind gets activated, and you start panicking or worrying about, oh, my God, we're going to die. Well, you're going to die anyway. But when you're trained and you start to look at things, you're going to start seeing that something from the outside has triggered you. You got some kind of news something has triggered your conditioning. Your, what is your conditioning? Your conditioning is to having this illusion that you are going to be around forever and having this illusion of preserving everything. And because preserving things around you gives you this false illusion that you are in control. You want to control your surrounding, your family, your relationships, your money, the environment. So it makes you feel good. Things are staying the same. Things are stable. So you feel good about yourself, which is never happening. It always changes. So 
you're waking up, you're studying, you begin to kind of see and and become aware of fear rises. It's an emotion that rises or is passing in another way it's passing through you. And you become aware of it and you watch it. And you remain still. You stay in stillness and you remain the watcher of this emotion that's coming and going. And as a result of that, you're not reacting to it. You simply are aware of its presence. You're aware that fear arises. And you're aware of it. And your body may react to it, but you're just like inwardly, you're just still. And then it goes away. And when it goes away, what's there? When fear rises and fears goes away, what's there? You, the observer, is the one who stays here, is always here. You Because you don't go anywhere. You're here. You're always here. Because you're the watcher. You're the observer. You're the one who is still and here and everything else comes and goes in front of you. So that's one thing. Another thing happens is that slowly, slowly, if it's in your path and you were meant to be at that place, and and expand to this consciousness, you begin to realize there is no you. The you is simply illusory. This you who's in control of life or your life and does whatever it does and makes good decisions or bad decisions is really is a non-existing element because existence is operating through you. It's that which is making decisions through you. So there is no you. So as you start to realizing that, your fear starts to disappear and loses its potency because who is afraid who is afraid of what i'm i'm not in control of life life is living me so what am i afraid of because there's no me what i think as me is sense it's the senses of separation sensory but I cannot be separated from life. No one else can be. Everyone is a part of the totality. So it is consciousness, it's totality that's operating because there's nothing in the world you can do which is not connected to life, to everything else. Everything you want to do is connected to everything else. Try to do something that's not connected to everything else. You can examine it for yourself. It's impossible. You're, I mean, it's so obvious. You just have to get out of this box of brainwashed and hypnotized place of separation that we have born into. And as you're expanding, you begin to see. And I'm going to explain this to you. <clears throat> 